you know how bad hospital waiting lists are in your province? The answer is, no matter where you are in Canada, it's terrible. It's not just inconvenient to have to wait to get an appointment with your doctor and then to get a referral to a specialist and then to get the treatment like a surgery. It's not just inconvenient, it's actually medically dangerous. It makes your health problem worse. Uh, here's the Fraser Institute's annual study of hospital waiting times, medical waiting times. Even in the province with the shortest wait time, Ontario, it's still what they call medically unreasonable. That is, you're waiting for so long, it's making whatever your health problem is worse for waiting. But here's great news. The Ontario Liberals are going to open up old hospitals that have been shut down. It's amazing. That'll reduce waiting lists for sure. Of course, I'm kidding. They're only opening up those old hospitals for Syrian refugees. They won't open those hospitals for you and me or other taxpayers, but they will for foreign migrants. Just open the gates. These hospitals will be used for temporary housing. So it's sad, but of course, these people will obviously need health care. They're jumping the queue in Ontario, the shortest wait time in the country. You and I have to wait on average three and a half months to get the care we need if we need treatment from a specialist, these refugees will just jump to the front of the line, like they're jumping to the front of the line to get into the country. How many nurses and doctors will be needed to be pulled away from regular work to put these foreign migrants first? Hey, remember when Justin Trudeau said he was gonna make fixing bad drinking water on Indian reserves his absolute top priority? Yeah, me too, but they can wait. So can Canada's homeless. Uh, there's Syrian homeless to take care of now, and Trudeau knows his priorities. What, you don't like it? We'll get used to it. What's the phrase? Because it's 2015. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.